I wanted to take more time and uh, tell more about myself and things that can be taken in by the nursery for people who have sessions with the commander or can't handle um, not thinking about the commander. I recently finished watching Space Opera. Um, it was pretty good, um, but they killed off the Martian and then ended it uh, with a short final season. Uh, so, yeah, that that's um, what I have to say about that. Um, uh, I'm not going to tell you which space opera it was, um, but it is, in my opinion, worth uh, worth watching uh, if you have the time. Uh, and by space opera, I mean something kind of like Star Trek. Uh, is, is, is kind of the way I would, I would describe this, uh, this thing. Um, I wanted to uh, let you know uh, about some of the commander's health concerns. Um, uh, currently, I rock back and forth. Um, sometimes, uh, uh, because of due to traumas of what the commander has gone through uh, uh, throughout um, life. It um, uh, it does kind of help soothing a little bit, but um, it feels stupid in my opinion. So that's that's what I have to say about that. Um, I like advanced technology. I'm obsessed with it. Um, anywhere where there's not efficiency, um, I'm attracted to, um, thinking of a solution for it. And one of the things that helps me with this obsession is watching in video, videos like on YouTube as an example to, um, uh, how do you say it, like, uh, soothe my mind because there's somebody working on something somewhere um, uh, in this area uh, and that could make things better. Um, sometimes, uh, or in the past, I have uh, gone working on actual problems myself, such as trying to build Tomorrowland. Um, I found the things that I needed to do it, but I didn't have the money, or I came under siege while trying to do it. Um, yeah, but, but basically, yeah, I found the formula to start building Tomorrowland. It, it took about, it would take about 40 years to, to get going. Um, uh, uh, if the path that I had chosen was, uh, started from scratch, uh, and then you would be able to be an independent civilization or something like that. Um, I have flown upon a fiery flying serpent, like it is, uh, talked about in the Bible. Um. It's like a red-bellied black snake, though, because it uh, has the image of a cobra underneath it in red. Uh, but it also goes invisible. Uh, to those who don't know what I'm talking about, um, uh, this has nothing to do with the nursery, um, but uh, it does have to do with cobra. 
and so that's what uh, the red serpent uh, shape is uh, uh, a picture of, uh, and it, it it can shine and shimmer in a reddish uh, tinge to it, I guess you'd say, um, uh, to show its uh, its emblem of uh, who's who's in the vehicle. It's basically for for you. It'd be a UFO. Um, as far as red belly black snakes go, uh, do not get one as a pet. They are not a puppy. Um, uh, they are a seeker and they are dangerous. Uh, they're for watching uh, uh, videos on like YouTube or documentaries. Uh, uh, they're uh, they're a very dangerous animal. Uh, motorcycles. Um, uh, I had a mini miniature motorcycle once. Um, I drove it a lot. I enjoyed it. Um. It uh, uh, didn't go very fast, um, uh, so I couldn't take it on a highway, and where I live uh, now, I just, uh, it was a burden to keep around. Uh, so, since I couldn't ride it safely, uh, I had to end up getting rid of it. Um, but uh, riding, uh, uh, riding motorcycles is something that I enjoyed. Uh, even the previous commander uh, and a lot of Cobra all enjoyed riding motorcycles. Um, there's just a specific feeling that you get when you're when you're riding it, and mine had low gears, so you really had to interact with it a lot. Um, uh, it was a tuner. Um, so you could modify it however you want. However, I only rode it stock, and um, uh, uh, if I had a foreseeable chart charted future, um, I would have held on to it and I would have tuned it up a little bit to make it more like uh, how I would have liked it to to, to be. Um, you could change a lot of parts out on it. Uh, it was a Honda Grom, is what it was, uh, in case you were wondering. Um, it was based off the legendary MX-125, um, uh, which is known for surviving in the harshest uh, conditions uh, the world has to offer um, and performing uh, day in and day out. Um, so, um, I thought that it would be a, a good miniature motorcycle to uh, to get, um, since uh, uh, parts would be coming for it uh, to to modify and stuff like that. Um, tinkering was a very appealing thing to me uh, regarding it uh, and why I got it brand new. launch from Dragon Ball uh, is a real person uh, she's a part of the nursery um, uh, she doesn't like white people anymore um, and uh, her and I were once very close and we go all the way back to the old Soviet days um, uh, but because of Merlin, she hates me. I never got a chance to explain to her that, uh, when Merlin happened, I was not in control of myself. Uh, just like when the trespassers arrived, I was not in control of myself. Um. Uh, it was like another person was operating my body, and uh, I was along for the ride. 
uh, like my conscience on my shoulder uh, or over my shoulder took over and did what it wanted to uh, for whatever reasons it had deemed logical. Uh, and I feel really bad about it um, and all the things that happened during these times, but but basically, uh, I never got a chance to explain this to her. Um, uh, so when I do get to see her, uh, it brings me a lot of joy, even if it's only under those circumstances. Um, uh, she's my little Soviet princess, I guess you'd say. But, uh, Speaking of uh, princesses, um, uh, I have been with two princesses that I know of, um, and both of them have uh, uh, mother children from me. Uh, the first one was Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden, and because of the race of uh, the, uh, the the kid, um, uh, he became a gnome. And uh, the rest of the world doesn't really know about that until now. Um, but basically, uh, the way that it went, uh, was that she basically, because of what King Carl was uh, upset about, um, uh, just uh, dropped him off and let him go. Um, uh, the other princess, um, was Princess Latifah of the United Arab Emirates. And uh, she impersonated um, a criminal enterprise in order to get close to me. And that made me upset. So that's probably why she's not talking to me now. Um, because of what I did uh, uh, when I thought that I discovered this. Um, uh, but, um, uh, it turns out, uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, uh, Princess Latifah of the UAE. And anyway, um, uh, I'm, I'm down for interacting with them in a, in a, uh, honest light, um, but not a dishonest light, like, like how it ended up happening. Um. Uh, I guess you'd say uh, we could run, as I've been putting out, uh, Aladdin or Arabian Nights. And I will be Aladdin as Jafar, as the street rat who uh, became like a prince, but with a prince ally. And anyway, uh, that would be Jafar. Jafar is the person who uh, ends up uh, in another part of the world uh, being a sort of advisor of some sorts. Uh, and that's a role that I can actually fulfill. Um, uh, but just so you know that that story is uh, about what not to do if you come from nothing. That is, uh, that, that tells you uh, uh, special lessons. That there's a, there's a lot deeper meaning to uh, the old Disney and Aladdin stories. 
um, they're meant to teach you about things. And uh, the reality is much different. Um, so, anyway, both of the princesses' situations are more than salvageable, but it requires actions on their end. Um, uh, and in uh, uh, Princess Latifah's case, uh, King Maktoum has to be down with being friends with me. Uh, I can be an amenable individual. Um, uh, and I am trying to learn a new way uh, with my peace deals with the Muslims, but they have been apparently put on hold by people who are interfering. And I'm not sure exactly uh, who, but I have a pretty good idea. Um, and they are enemies of the nursery. Um, Alcohol. Uh, and uh, just in case anybody was wondering, no, I did not just drink any alcohol. I actually just got some water in. A uh, sip of coffee. Um, alcohol has always been a thing that made me feel sick. Um, I don't like the way alcohol makes me feel as opposed to uh, a marijuana um, or cannabis. Um, uh, I'd say, um, uh, what I learned in the STAR program, uh, about alcohol is, uh, at, at a certain level of being intoxicated, um, you can injure your brain, um, which is not something that I particularly want because I have head injuries that have spiraled out of control and made me schizoid because of uh, dub and grenade. So, um, but there is a certain level which is below uh, uh, notable brain damage that alcohol makes you uh, want to go out and party and or uh, interact with the world and um, like in a form of scale or measurement and uh, what I have been trying to do uh, since not being able to get uh, marijuana um, uh, to help me sort my mind out and let flow these kinds of messages that I've been doing on the hypnoserpent is to get to a certain level of, let's say, drunkenness, um, where it gets me in that, that mood or feeling, because I don't know these kinds of feelings like other people know them. Um, and, of course, I'm obsessed with the nursery and being the commander and in command, because I'm programmed. Uh, uh, to, to be this and do this. Uh, so what comes out is what I can make as a high quality production for this particular thing. Getting in touch with my people. Uh, and so I use it a certain way, but still, in my opinion, it wears me out. Another thing that wears me out is the trespassers' deaths. The trespassers were clearly people I now know who were 
trying to help me or were my friends. And now knowing that I hurt them and killed them, so I can't even make it better, uh, what I did wrong, it makes me... Uh, makes me very sad. Um, but where there's a vacancy and a void like that, there is opportunity for uh, something new and something better. And I mean that in a positive way. Anyway, um, uh, this portion right here is a message to all former Soviets. Where one goes, we all go. Wherever Cobra is, the space doorway will be. And that is the portal. Or the town portal. This is my call to have all former members of the Soviet Union pull together and help my nursery and all the people who are associated with Cobra move to more just lands. The United States has failed in the equality sector and in a way that cannot be fixed. So, if you're out there, make your connections back to Cobra and uh, help us move all the people of Cobra from the nursery uh, to another country. My pitch, my main pitch, was to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I believe that uh, it has what my people are looking for. Uh, and is willing to help us, as opposed to uh, just providing a space. And so the best thing for them would be to receive the space doorway. And only one person needs to be pleased, which is the king. So in this way, I can pass along the commander to the king. For those who still have programming. I once set out to save the world a long time ago. I was just a kid, but I meant it. And once my people return back to me, it will actually begin, because that is what we are going to do with whoever takes us in. 